in the supermarket and I'm gonna get something and come home and show you how I do with it. It's only 2.30. So we're going to the supermarket now. We'll check out what we get. And we come home and we go to my dad's house and we're gonna cook and eat with him. Today is December 28th. Yes. Right? Yeah. Okay. Nope. That is right. Tomorrow is the 29th. <laughs> Alright, let's go here. I We're going the back song. way. The back the back way to the, the shortcut. Remember, to the market. Look at the sky.
So everyone, after I clean, this is the place I have a little oil and um, olive oil here. I'm gonna place the fish here. It's so big. And I have two. I got two of them. After I clean, I cut the head off. This looks scary. So just like that. And then the salmon, that's for my son. Here I wrap this with the plastic wrap and I have the pans here. I'm going to ask about a cup of water. Um, the stove on for um, high heat, medium high. And then I'm going to place this on the top. So when you place it, you can feel it, the water right there because when it boil, it can steam up the the place here and it cooked the fish. I'm gonna put that place on top of that and then cover that. When you cover it, you're gonna cook about I would say half an hour to see and I'll come back and show you in the meantime we're gonna make a cut the ginger and the scallion. So I'm gonna slide the ginger into slices. Don't have to be very thin, it's okay. If you want more ginger, you can add gin more ginger. So that go on one side and I'm going to cut the scallion. The scallion has the bottom part right here. And then the green part. The, um, the scallion and the ginger, it's all up to you if you want to add more, that's, that is okay with it. You don't need to go exact the same amount. And with the root here, you can cut this out into half. Or slide three or, you know, slide into smaller. This is my dad's house, everyone. Two tablespoons of olive oil. I'm going to wait for a little bit. I need to boil and everything. So add the ginger. Stir it. So when the ginger is like that, a little bit soft, you're going to add the root of the scallion. At this time, you can turn off the stove because it's uh, scallion. You don't really need to cook it all the way. And now you're going to add the green pot in. And I'm going to add two teaspoons of mushroom seasoning. garlic. I'm going to add about half a teaspoon. The more you add in there, the better it tastes. So don't worry about it. 
And I'm going to add two tablespoons of soy sauce to the strain that I usually show you. So add it in here all together. Remember, the heat needs to turn off. Okay, so this is all set for that part, everyone. So, I just set on the side, we're going to do the, um, the pea pot stamp. That, everyone, the fish is all good and it's cooked. When it's cooked, you can see the skin is like, stay apart from the meat. I'm going to add the scallion and the ginger on it. So delicious. Try this, everyone. You're going to love it. So we're going to divide this into two because we have the, um, the other fish, too. Just add some salt. So delicious. There you go. So we're gonna do the pea pot stem. Pea pot stem, you have to clean it. And make sure you pull it out like this and you see the old one or the one that's big. You can just um, take it apart. When you break it, you hear that noise. That means it's, it's young and it's still good. It's not old stem. This is um, expensive, but it's very healthy. It's $4.99 a pound. Really release it. So it looks all good so you can put it down and just rinse over with the water and then you're gonna stir I'm gonna show you how to stir fry with garlic. Super super delicious. it. When you go to the Asian supermarket you'll be able to see them. Very popular. So when you go to the restaurant too, when you order a place of this, it cost you like fifteen to twenty dollars. So it looks really good. It's really clean though. You don't have to do so much. It's just really good for about five minutes. I'm gonna it. I'm gonna use about And then I'm going to add the garlic in there. Don't wait until the oil gets so hot and add the garlic. I add a lot of garlic in here. I use about two of them. Want to keep the garlic too long. Wait until the oil getting hot and then you go on to add the pea pot stem on. When you see the oil, start doing that before um, hot. Add about half a teaspoon of salt into the garlic. And now I'm going to bring the, the teapot stem over. I'm going to add little by little because I have a lot. You don't want to burn the garlic. That's the thing. So, so you get out a little at a time and then you still throw it around. Try it if you go to the Asian supermarket and you see this pea pot stem, get it and do this. So good. More here. This is all the stem, like the top of the, the leaf from the, um, from the pea. Oh, 
Okay, it's enough for me. Okay, so I'm gonna put it on the plate. Get it ready for my dad and us to eat together. This is everyone. This is the dinner with my dad. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you try this peapot stem on um, your dinner, your lunch someday. So release it. This is one fish, and then the peapot stem. Got another fish, and then the salmon. For the boy, I um, I I fried the, the salmon with butter and garlic. And this is another peapot stem. So awesome. Thank you so much for watching everyone. Please stay safe and take care.